Hey guys, in this episode, it's time to put some graphics on my 911. Alright, well, uh, first things first is I need to reassemble everything and get it all lined up perfectly so I can put the graphics on and they're not going to be all wonky. So, uh, let's get assembling. nicely so it's uh, finally time for the fun bit no I wish it was time for the fun bit it is time for more sanding time to go through and repair where I over cut out the uh, run that was here um, yeah if I hadn't sliced it back so far I think it would have been fine um, if I'd just done the normal method it was a really big run though so um, it's not a big issue because the car is going to be cleared uh, at least twice more so uh... all right she's all right back ready to go so now I have to mask it up yet again and uh, Get ready to put on some stripes. All right, so we're all masked up again, ready to go. Everything's lined up perfectly. It's inside the door jams, it's all masked up. If you can see the masking tape in there. But first things first is I have to fix these uh, rub throughs here. There's a couple of spots where I've gone a bit harsh. There was a chip in the, uh, in the wing there, I think from just from me. Lugging it around, I smashed it into something and chipped it, so I've rubbed that back and rubbed this back here. So first things first is I'll actually get the airbrush out, first of all, and um, start blowing back in those areas to uh, cover up those spots so it gets good coverage, and then I'll blow in the, the colour to spread it out over a larger area. And and all of that stuffing around just to end up with these few little bits of tape on the car. Now we need to mask up everything else and get some paint on it. So we are now currently all masked up, ready to go. Everything is masked up except for this mess down the back. So uh, let's uh, sort this out right now. So I'm all masked up, ready to go. And um, another little tip to stop bleeding, which is uh, what I'm going to do first, is I'm going to dust back over it with the base colour. So in this case, the orange, I'm going to go over it. So if it is going to bleed anywhere, hopefully the orange will fill that void and uh, the, uh, the rest should hopefully be smooth sailing with no bleeding. And then straight after that, uh, it'll come up to what I've been uh, hinting at for a while is what colour am I going to do stripes? And as I said, it, uh, some people might, might love it, some people might really hate it. Uh, it's going to go either way. But um, basically, I, I've chosen the, uh, the centre two big stripes are going to be black. So uh, probably haven't lost too many of you there. But uh, these outer stripes here are going to be purple. Now, you're going to have to trust me with this, but the purple and orange, I think, will go together quite nicely. And it's just a hint, just to give it a feature colour um, that will uh, 
pop. So uh, let's see what it looks like. All right, and the purple is done. So you can see that I've just dusted it on. I dusted on the coat very lightly because if I wet it up, it's more likely to uh, activate the gum underneath the stencil material and, uh, and, and leave it on there. So it's best to just dust it, dust it, dust it. And you can also notice that I haven't masked up the area that's gonna go black because I don't need to. The black is gonna cover well enough to cover over the purple. So now I just need to mask up all the purple bits and spray the black. Stripes are all painted, so it's time to unwrap the present and uh, see what we've got. All right, and we're all done, and I am really really happy with the result better than I was hoping only bit of overspray where it uh, did come through as you can see right here I just have to go through and clean that off but it's in a pretty discreet place and considering all of the corners uh, I'm pretty happy with that so uh, yeah no overspray anywhere else it's all it's all looking really nice I really uh, I'm, I'm really happy with the way this back end came out um, it's something a bit different I haven't seen anybody else do before so uh, I thought it uh, would be a good look. So now all I need to do is uh, clean it all up and yeah, we'll wax some clear on it. All right, I just noticed on the back here, I don't know if you can see that there, right in the on the top edge of this piece here, there's a little tiny bit of orange that I wasn't happy with around the edge, so I've masked it all up and notice I've made a cup area with the uh, masking tape and I'm just gonna get the airbrush now and just airbrush in, blow in that edge so it's, uh, Nice and neat. The stripes are painted, uh, the clear is on. As you can see, I got some more runs in the bloody clear. I was being careful, but I still obviously put too much in the rain gutters and it came out again, but it's not a huge drama because I am going to clear it one more time. Um, that is because I'm going to flow coat the car. So basically what that is, is um, these graphics still have some edges on them and Basically, I'm going to sand back the whole thing, get it flat, get the edges out, and then clear it again so I have a nice flat finish and you shouldn't be able to feel the stripes once it's done. I'm also a little bit disappointed. There's quite a bit of grit and uh, stuff in the clear, which I was really trying to avoid. As you saw, I was wearing the, um, the disposable overalls this time and I made sure I really tried to clean everything up. For the final coat, I think I'm going to have to go to town on cleaning the booth get everything perfectly clean, make sure the guns are perfectly clean, clean out the compressor, just get everything so that it doesn't leave more crap in the car because it's going to be uh, a bit of a pain to get rid of some of this stuff. But uh, that's it for this week. If you enjoy the videos, please uh, like and subscribe to my channel, Home Built by Jeff, and you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at the same place. All right, see you guys.